What's going on guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how to add fragments dynamically with code. In our last video, we used just the XML files to add the fragments. And this is kind of a continuation off that one, I guess. I'm using the same project I did for that one. I'll leave a link below if you want to download that. If you're interested in that video, I'll pop up a link right now. Then you could watch that before. You really should probably watch that one before you do this. But, but yeah, this project, there's really nothing to it. I just created a new fragment. And the way I did that, I just went hit new and then went down the fragment and then created a blank fragment. And then I just uh, created it with the XML file layout file with it. So right off the bat, we'll go down to the activity main file and you, you'll want to delete this and then rename fragment right here, frame layout. And if you're starting fresh, just kind of follow along because basically this is going to be all totally fresh. So we'll it's, take out that and then we'll put layout we'll get this centered up in our in our view here so go layout center and parent and hit true and then we'll create a couple buttons here one to add the fragment and one to remove the fragment so after you get that frame layout put down we'll go over to the design and then go to pilot we'll add a couple buttons here uh, put them down here somewhere right there and then we'll just call this add fragment Go back to palette again, and we'll pull another one, put it below it, and we'll call this remove fragment. After you got that, we'll go back over to the text and just give it a look over. Everything looks pretty good. We'll go over here to the fragment blank, and then, like I said, this was before in my previous video, and I think we're just probably going to keep all this. We might center it up, I guess. Android layout. Center and parent, then equals true. Go back over to the activity main XML, and I forgot to create some unclicks for our for our buttons here. So we'll go unclick, and then we'll call this. Uh, we'll just say add, and then just copy that. Then we'll paste one underneath here and we'll call it remove. And then go ahead and create both of these click handlers. And then I'm just uh, option and hit and enter on a Mac and it'd be alt and enter on a PC. So we got both of those. I'm going to put the add up ahead of this one. So inside add, we will get a reference to our blank fragment class here and we'll call it blank fragment equals new blank fragment and to load a fragment we'll need to get the fragment manager so just type in get support fragment manager and then you go dot begin transaction dot add and then we would type in our resource, so it's dot r dot i r dot id dot blank fragment, and that right there is from this this id from the uh, frame layout on the main. Usually, I would name it like container. We'll name it container, and then we'll call it container here. You also need to pass in the fragment class that we have up here. So go blank fragment, and then dot commit. And then you can actually make it look better. After each thing you're adding here, you can like just kind of hit enter just to kind of so it's straight up and down order here. And then another thing we could add in is a, a tag with this one. So we can come up here and, and type in, we're just we're going to actually create it here. So it, fragment tag. And then once this pops up, you can come over here and uh, hit the red light bulb here. And then we can create a constant field up here. So we'll hit that private static final string and then you can name this whatever we'll just call it we'll just copy that and get some quotes and then put that inside those quotes so and then down here we'll go uh, we'll just create a fragment and we'll call it fragment and then this is just getting the support fragment manager up there and then we can again hit dot then enter, enter then dot and we can find the fragment by ID or by tag we'll go with tag since we created that up there and then we'll just pass in the fragment tag up there and close that off 
see we need to run the support so we'll go over here and hit option then enter or alt enter and I just uh, imported that right there so you want to have the support version of it so then we need to create an if statement so just in case uh, so just in case if you like flip the phone it won't uh, reset everything so go to if then put a uh, fragment is not null and then hit get support fragment manager and enter dot begin transaction and enter dot remove and fragment and then dot commit so this right here is actually going to remove the fragment totally so this keeps it from when you tap that remove button as long as there's a uh, a reference to this support fragment manager and can pull that tag it will remove the fragment if not it might throw it up and throw up an error or something so over here in the blank fragment we will let's see I usually try to get in the habit of uh, making it return the view because if you have like uh, different uh, items in here you'll often need to uh, reference the view so hit return and then view boom so I believe we're done with this so let's go ahead and run okay so let's see we'll hit the add and that pops right up and then hopefully it removes it once I tap the remove fragment. So add remove. So if I tap remove again, nothing happens because there's nothing to remove. So we hit add and we'll spin it. Everything's still there and you can remove it. So if you spin it again and hit remove, everything's working fine. In future videos, I will be going over more in depth about how to, how the inner workings of fragments actually work, like inside each of their classes. But I just wanted to get this quick video out there and uh, show you a basic way to add fragments, the activities into your screen. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. So thanks for watching.